Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are taking a look at Heptabase and I am really excited for this one. I recently came back from vacation and I bought myself a Heptabase subscription for a month just to try it out and I've been playing around with it for a day or two and today I am going to show you an overview of the app. I have a Heptabase versus Grintle video coming up as well as a Heptabase more of a tutorial video coming up as well so if you haven't done so already please do subscribe and let's just jump into the video. So we can start off by looking at this journal page. It works basically like a daily page. This app has markdown support and backslash uh, functionality as well. But uh, having a daily page is really good for just writing your thoughts down. So you could do it as bullets. Uh, I would prefer to do it as bullets personally. But uh, you can do it in multiple different ways. Just jot jot down ideas here and you can then move them later into a card if you wanted to but it is a good place to just get your ideas down and you get one new daily page for each day which is really really good but everything evolves around a map with whiteboards inside of it so we have a uh, big map here with a whiteboard inside of it and multiple different cards inside of that whiteboard so if we take a look at one of my whiteboards which i've just been trying out to figure out how the app works you can see that it is really intuitive and easy to use so you have a card and you can actually drag uh, different lines to that card i won't do so right now but as you can see i have done it and i have given it a description so in my case because i do a lot of youtube videos around different note-taking apps and different productivity apps it's good to have sort of an overview of this and i organize everything inside of para in this app as well just because it is the simplest way to do so except that i don't have a archiving whiteboard because removing one of these will actually not delete it it will just archive it and you can find it inside of your cards later but there are multiple different ways to organize this app and overall it is just really good you can also write in your journal while you're in a whiteboard so if you're in your whiteboards and you have a project ongoing and you find a task you want to do tomorrow you can easily just press slash to do and add the task into tomorrow's day another great feature as well everything in this app seems like it is really they have put a real effort into building this app and making everything fit seamlessly into the app and you can also check your card library so if i wanted to drag a card into here i could easily just drag it from my card library i could also search i don't have too many notes inside of it right now and I am probably going to add this into my productivity workflow. I will do a video on my productivity workflow as well. But just to give you a brief overview, I use a bullet journal to get everything down. And I put things inside of twos. And when they are ready, I will drag them into a note-taking app. Because I want to be able to think in a visual way like a whiteboard, whether that's a project, a YouTube video, anything. I like having this whiteboard view and dragging things into this app. But I will do a video on my workflow later. It has an assistant. I haven't been using this or testing it out. But I will in the next couple of days and I will get back to you. Uh, and overall this app just seems so clean so polished and so intuitive to use you can actually organize things inside of para with these whiteboards you can drag things and resize them as you want so if you are a visual thinker if you like um, maps mind maps this is one of the best apps out there and it compares to something like scrintle as i said i will do a 
comparison video. I think it's coming up either tomorrow or the day after that, but I will do a video on that as well. You can easily share an entire whiteboard by publishing it into the web with a view only link. So if I'm working with multiple people and I have a lot of thoughts and I build myself a whiteboard to get all of these thoughts into paper, I can easily do that and then share it with someone else. You can also have a split view so you can open two different cards and view them together. Great for writing longer form things like an essay or a blog post in my case. There are multiple ways to organize things so you can organize them into the whiteboard and they have tags as well and you can actually group your tags which is another great feature. So I would probably have a lot of tags inside of this app just because of the way it works and that I can group different tags so I could group my tags as YouTube videos and I could put apps and video ideas inside of there or I could tag uh, something resources and I could put books and articles inside of there so there are a lot of different ways to use this app. Uh, you can backlink things so that's a possibility as well let's just open this in full screen as you can see it has backlinking functionality another thing that is really good as you can see here as well it uh, it has backlinking so I could press this and I could open it as a split view and I could see both of my cards right here and as you may have read here it has a readwise integration so uh, this app Heptabase has a readwise uh, integration already for those of you who are using readwise. I personally haven't used readwise. I want to and I am going to but I haven't done so yet. But overall I would say that this app is really good for people who like to think visually and it is good for a Zettel custom system as well which is a way of note taking that I have been testing out and we can take a look at the pricing as well. So the monthly plan comes in at $9.99 per month which is the one I am on right now. I will probably change to the yearly plan the next month because I just wanted to try out the app and see if it will fit into my workflow and it will. So it has a yearly plan of $6.99 each month or build $83.88 and you get priority support in Discord community, one week money back guaranteed and free one-to-one -one support calls with the founder. This one might be really good to actually learn the app properly. They have a wiki page as well and a Discord community you can go into. It's funny, their wiki page is a Notion site, but there are a lot of great information inside of this. So I will be using the app for a couple of days and doing a tutorial quite soon but overall I like the app it looks really good it can substitute something like Miro so if you have been using Miro a lot Miro has some organizational problems which this app doesn't have you can use it as a Zettel custom system and there are just a lot of ways to use this app so I would recommend Heptabase to Everyone who likes to think visually and are looking for a visual note-taking app, this might be one of the best ones out there. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon. Comment down below if you have any questions and I will try to get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.